Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Akron's hottest and fastest growing show. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live from my kitchen. Now, we did this once before. I did a, I did a late summer salad on, on how to um, use up all those leftover tomatoes that we're ending the summer with. So today, though, I want to try something totally different. You can see our, our kitchen's real simple, real normal, but... Um, it's, it's almost like back to the future in 2020 now. We all have our weapons of choice. And you can see we got your microwaves here, your Instapots here, your, your magic coffee machine is here. And here is our air fryer. It's a Power XL. We got ourselves a seven quart air fryer for Christmas. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was my gift to me and, and, and to the missus. So, so we're going to try something totally different tonight. And, Again, I'm looking to try and add a cooking show, uh, Kitchen Talk with a 3 3 That's right, Scott. All right, so um, the goal is to add a, a, a cooking show at some point. Is that going to be me doing it? Probably not. Um, but as you can see during the week, we've already talked about adding a real estate show, which seems like it's going to be very popular. So we're going to be doing that in the very near future. There's a lot of buzz about that right now. There's a ton of things going on on the network Again, you got like, what, four or five days left before uh, we do the three throw to go cutoff uh, for the voices in the three throw competition. So if you're a singer out there, um, please make sure that you register for that competition. All right. So here's the thing. So I grew up and I hated Brussels sprouts. I mean, I hated them. All right. And then as, as fate would have it, the square scullery, which is in Highland Square, it's got the best Brussels sprouts in Summit County. I'll fight anybody on that one. So the point is, though, it, it, you know, to save a couple bucks, I went and I bought these at Acme Fresh Market, okay? So when you pick out your Brussels, you want to get them, take a look at these. They're about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter, okay? So what we're going to do, and again, I've read up on this. I've, by the way, we are watching the calves in the background. Zion is making his debut me and the me and the me and the daughter just teared up at the 8 and 24 thing well come on over here say hi hi all right hey I have a knife really close to me. I you always use a sharp knife when you're cutting in Brussels I I want to include her just so <laughs> hey no listen I'm not gonna cut you I'm not gonna cut you look at everybody hi I am 45 this is my daughter she does a lot of the filming for the 330 she is 13 and she is my athlete. So what happened with Kobe and Gianna this week hit us very, very hard. I'm just being transparent with you, okay? Um, it really hit us hard. She's also my Cavs fan and my basketball fan, all right? So love you. All right. Thank you. All right. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to take these Brussels. And you, I, 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 had, I, cut off, I cut off the ends already just to kind of... Uh, shorten up our time here. So we want to we want to take these Brussels. We just want to cut them in half. Use whatever knife you're comfortable with, and you can see you just want to have them. All right. I have uh, just so you know for times uh, uh, to shorten things up. I have purchased. I, I did purchase these at Acme Fresh Market, and you can see they're cutting real nice. All right. Fresh Brussels. Here's a here's a good look at them. All right. That's right, Scott. Uh, you know, kids are important, right? And this week has really driven that point home. Um, so, yeah, uh, our intern, Dion, is really working hard right now in the background. Uh, he's creating a show next week. We're going to be doing a, a show at, at the University of Akron, which we're really excited about because that's kind of an audience that we really haven't had a chance to work with. Um, so he's working on that right now. He's also working on some advertising for us. Uh, we're getting ready to, uh, we've got a couple special announcements coming up soon um, where we're going to be introducing two new shows. One is going to be a sports program um, because, you know, we sports is part of our DNA. It's part of our nature, what we started with. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to be introducing a sports network here in the 330 that's going to focus on local stuff. And then on top, by the way, I hope Kate's not watching this because this is supposed to be a little special treat for when she walks in the door. All right. Anyway. So as I continue to have these, 
Um, the other, the other is that real estate show. So we had a, we had a lot of people interested in that. So we're going to start doing specials, uh, like walkthroughs of historic homes that are registered in the three three zero, and also like, like open houses. We're gonna, we're gonna try and help realtors out. I'll come up with some kind of a deal. They give us a few bucks just to kind of keep the lights on for us, and and we will kind of show open houses for them live online. All right, so here's what we got. Can you see that? There's our Brussels, okay? Now, I'm only making enough for me and Kate. The kids really don't like them that much. But again, I grew up hating Brussels sprouts. And then Square Scullery, with that food truck of theirs, kind of converted me back to liking them. I don't know how that even happened, all right? So here's what we got. Here are our ingredients. We've got Evo, extra virgin olive oil. Your brand, you pick. Um, so I got Evo here. I've got coarse salt, which is a much thicker grain salt. All right. We've got regular salt here. I've got regular pepper. I've got Food Club uh, black pepper coarse that I can um, just grind into there. And then this, this is a little special extra. This is your balsamic small cabbages. That's right, Scott. Um, this is a, a balsamic vinaigrette reduction so it's 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 to top it off at the end right all right so here's what we got the kids got me um because you guys know i like to cook i we you see all the food we put up brand new food network wooden spoons i was so excited because i wanted a square and flathead wooden spoon because it's so much easier to cook with all right so here's what we're going to do we are going to Pop a, just a, a skosh of Evo in there, and the goal is, as we mix these, we just want we just want the Brussels to coat. Okay, so you want to kind of you, you want to do the best you can to have a like an even coat of olive oil on those Brussels. All right, and just mix it up nice and easy. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm never a guy that does like you need a cup of this or you need a. Uh, a, 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 table, a tablespoon of this or a teaspoon of that. I, I'm, I am cook by feel, okay? So the goal is to coat these, right? So we're just going to coat them up, all right? So right now, these Brussels have a nice coating. There we go. Again, I'm making it for two. This is for me and the missus. This is for Kate when she gets home. I hope she's not watching right now, so she's a little bit surprised, all right? So now we want to do the exact same thing with all of our spices. So we're gonna take a do some coarse salt in there. Okay. We're gonna do some regular salt up in there. Just kind of a little bit. We're gonna do some pepper, some regular pepper. Because we want to have that granulated feel when it comes to Brussels, right? Now here's our here's our black pepper that we um, that we grind. We're just gonna grind that up. Okay, good. And then we're gonna mix that up just like we just did. Now, I'm so excited, right, about the air fryer. I don't know if you guys have an air fryer yet. I know I'm two or three years late to that party, but it's one of the best things I've purchased so far because you know, the kids can use it. It's real easy to use. I'm just gonna do another little coating. I'm more into the pepper than the salt aspect, just from a health standpoint, right? So let's just pop that on there. There we go, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now for our Air fryer again. Uh, oh, 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 hold on. Let me let me touch on this real quick. So there's all kinds of sauces you can use, right? I went ahead and I got these. These are from these are organic sauces from Acme Fresh Market. I've got a Blue Top brand. You ever heard of Blue Top? So one of these is a garlic creamy hot sauce, and the other is a creamy street sauce. Okay, so. Um, typically when you do Brussels, it's kind of like a sriracha creamy sauce. I couldn't find that. I couldn't find that, nor do I want to make it. I don't want to get it all involved. I want something I could just dip and go. So I, I'm gonna, we're going to try these. I have no idea how, how, how they taste, but so she'll be, she'll be excited that those are going on. All right. So here's our air fryer, right? I got four kids. We got six people to feed in this family. So... I went ahead and I got the seven quart. This is a seven quart Power XLR, and I can't remember the brand name. Uh, it's, I think it's Oster, but it, it, it 
It was one of those. It was a. It was a. It was a Black Friday deal. It was a hundred and seventy-five dollar air fryer we got for like sixty dollars. Okay, so I had heard from so many people on the air fryer stuff in terms of that. That I don't want to call it a cult, um, but we'll call it a group of people that love air fryers, right? And the one thing they all said was buy bigger than you are used to getting. Okay, so if you're gonna get an air fryer, make sure you get a good size one. You've seen the the, the big square ones now too that have multi-function, multi-purpose. Hey, before I go on, I wanna show you guys this. This is a whirly pop, okay? This is from my sister, Christmas gift. She's one of those where she gets us like a family gift, all right, and it's always really cool. This is a popcorn maker that you make yourself and, and you, you put the oil in, and you got the kernels, and then you just twist it, and it just goes broop, like the old Jiffy Pop or the old or Orville Redenbachers from the day. So, real excited. Thank you. Thank you, sis. We've already used it four or five times. And then if you can see up here, these are all these are all spices for the popcorn. So the kids, like, pick their own popcorn, pick a bag, pick their spice, and, and away you go. So, all right. So here we go. So we're just going to pop these in. Now, when you, whenever you use an air fryer, obviously it's air, right? So you're reducing your oil consumption. The goal is to have the air be able to hit every part of whatever it is that you're cooking. In this case, it's the Brussels. You can see how I've spaced them out, all right? Now, I've read a bunch of different methods here, but we're just going to pop these bad boys in. We're going to turn that on, and I'm going to hit the French fry button because what that does is it takes that temperature up to 400 and then I'm going to reduce that to 10 minutes and Yahtzee. That's it. However long we've been on, that was the amount of prep time for the Brussels and now I put 10 minutes on at 400 at five minutes, I pull it out, I give them a little shake, and then at 10 minutes, they're done. You put your little sauce in your cups, and you dip and eat air fried Brussels sprouts. That's it. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, we're looking forward to doing some sort of a cooking show. We haven't decided who's going to be involved with that yet. There's so many things that are going to be happening on this network in 2020. Um, and we got exciting times ahead. I mean, it's a lot of fun. We're enjoying being with you guys. <clears throat> Again, you got five days left if you want to be a part of that Voices in the Three Throw to Go competition. Uh, it's going to be at the Rialto Theater on February 22nd. Those tickets are now available. So check those out. Until then, I don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense of being late. Everybody out there, say goodnight, Shirley. <laughs>